we have a supply of natural gas that can last America nearly 100 years. We have a record number of oil rigs operating right now, more working oil and gas rigs than the rest of the world combined. So do not tell me that we're not drilling. We're drilling all over this country. Few things have been more volatile during this president's tenure than trying to blend our energy needs and climate future. The time has come once and for all for this nation to fully embrace a clean energy future. But on President Obama's watch, fracking became a household word and 80,000 new oil and gas wells were drilled across the country. Today's new extreme energy extraction gold rush may prove to be the president's most profound environmental legacy. We, it turns out, are the Saudi Arabia of natural gas. We've got a lot of it. It sounded so good. If we suddenly have an abundance of natural gas, where well, we can switch from burning coal to burning natural gas, it'll be good for the environment. How good can it get? I think the industry is scared of science. We're not going to be intimidated or bullied by industry. I think there's nothing sacred. It's all going to change. You feel like a pawn in this game. You're disposable. It's profit above people. The drill, baby, drill. When do you quit? If this guy shows up and says, we're going to drill a well there. You don't have a choice. It's went from almost heaven to fracking hell. Climate change is a fact. You can't lead on climate and frack your state dry of every last drop of oil. The time for a clean energy revolution is now.